Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of January 2019. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have Major Arcana of the Star in the reverse position, followed then by Major Arcana of the World upright. This is your Celtic Cross reading. Um, the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. And next we have the Ten of Swords reversed, followed then by the Seven of Pentacles upright. And next we have the Seven of Wands reversed, followed then by Major Arcana Empress in the upright. Next we have the Nine of Wands reversed, followed by Nine of Cups in the upright. And lastly, we have the Ace of Cups in the upright. So I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Virgo, for your overall energy, you have that of the star in reverse position. The star upright, this is a card of optimism that represents faith, optimism, wish upon a star, all that good stuff, that good healing energy. When it's inverted like this, however, this can indicate a level of pessimism. It could be that you come into the month of January feeling pessimistic about something it's going to be different for all of you because it's just a general read for some of you it could be uh you know pessimistic about a relationship it could be playing out in the work uh realm or uh finances or family it's going to be different so however it applies but it seems like you're you're looking at something in terms of very pessimistic now, the, what you have crossing you is major arcana of the world in the upright position. This represents completion. This is a completion of something that is coming to its natural end. It needs to, um, it needs to end. It's uh, some element of your life, some area of your life. For some of you, this could be a long-standing relationship that is, you know, closing out. This can represent a long time family home that you've lived at for a long time and now you're downsizing for others of you could represent um, uh, basically uh, retiring from your career or your job. Others of you could be closing out an element of your career and maybe starting anew. In your past, this is something that could have happened maybe a month ago or a couple of weeks ago. We have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse position. Two of Pentacles upright, this represents harmony in the midst of change. This is where we're juggling uh, home, family, work, uh, school, all that kind of stuff, and we're doing so successfully. When it's inverted like this, this can represent dropping the ball because we had too much on our plate. We were trying to deal with too many things. Uh, for others of you, this could be representing two different relationships maybe that you were juggling and um, something had to give and so you know something had to fall one of the pentacles had to fall down so this is about coming out of balance like not feeling in balance in terms of something you were trying to juggle but that's in your past now coming into the month of january coming off of december we have the energies of the ten of swords in the reverse position ten of swords upright this can represent the last straw this is where we um are dealing with a situation or a person in a relationship and this is just kind of the last straw we cannot take another um another second of this situation or relationship anymore and it's fresh and it's new when it's inverted like this this is healing energy this is where we've already for some of you it could be connected to this two of pentacles in reverse this is where we're starting to heal from that situation where perhaps there was a last straw in a relationship in a situation work or finances or anything like that it could be again it's a general read so it's going to pertain differently to all of you but however it pertains you're starting to heal from this situation you're no longer in the ten of swords in the upright situation indicating this is already past tense it's already happened and now you're you come into the month of january already healing from that and that energy gives way into early january of the seven of pentacles in the upright position the seven of pentacles is heavy duty reevaluating and it looks like virgo if there was something that this could even be your finances that went, went out of whack uh, it could be anything but now it sees you in heavy duty uh, reevaluation 
mode. You're trying to reevaluate something. This could be your finances. This could be um, a rela long-standing relationship. This could be your work situation. It's it's going to be different for all of you, but you're reevaluating something. It looks like something has happened to some of you. Something went out of balance and you're healing from it and now you're reevaluating. Virgos are very good at looking at setbacks in life and situations that happen and uh, ma to make sure that it doesn't happen again, you guys are really good at reevaluating things, stopping and taking a look and seeing where things went off track and trying to make sure that you don't um, encounter that error again. Virgos are very good at learning from their errors and mistakes. Now, in a couple weeks' time, around mid-January, we have the energies of the Seven of Wands in the reverse position. Seven of Wands upright, this is when we're in heavy-duty protective mode. This does explain a lot, cons considering the rest of the cards in the read here. Um, at one point, you were probably highly protective and um, in highly defensive mode, where you were trying to defend yourself, defend someone else defend somebody else's actions, defend your own actions, what have you, but you're no longer in that mode. Around middle of January, it sees you easing off on that. Now you are um, letting down your defenses in a sense. You're no longer feeling like you need to be in heavy duty protective mode anymore because you're already healing from a, the situation. So you're feeling like you can sort of let down your defenses. Now, you internally, this is how you may be feeling over the month of January. Not necessarily the face you show to the world, but this is just how you feel inside. And we have the uh, Empress in the upright position. Beautiful energy. The Empress is all about uh, compassion, caring, understanding. This is at a high, high level because the Empress is, um, you know, there is no one higher in terms of art hierarchy or uh, management if this was a a career situation. This is someone who is um, at the top of their game when it comes to compassion and understanding. It could be you yourself, Virgo, maybe you're showing that compassion and understanding to yourself, which would be very lovely if that were the case. I hope that is the case. But if, if not, then it could be you just showing extreme compassion towards other people. And maybe because that's where you're coming from. You're coming from so much healing here. Although you are a little bit pessimistic or doubtful about some situation, you are starting to heal. Now, in your people and environment, we have the Nine of Wands in the reverse position. Talk about letting down your defenses. The Nine of Wands in the upright position. This is the Wounded Warrior card. This is someone who is on guard, ready to face another battle if they should have to. Um, and now this is coming in your pe uh, people and environment. This is how people are viewing you now in the month of January, Virgo. Maybe there's a softer side of Virgo coming out in January and you guys are letting down your defenses. For me, this is all about peace. This is peace time. This is where we don't need to stand on guard. We don't need to worry about what's coming around the corner. We're sort of relaxing into some kind of... Um, peace just taking a break from challenges and things like that that for me is what peace time is about now in your hopes and fears position <laughs> we I, I giggle because in the hopes and fears that you're hoping for your wish to come true well of course <laughs> this is the wish card the nine of cups in the upright position this is in your hopes and fears position not necessarily anything is going to play out in the next 30 days but it this is um about you know like hope hoping that a prized wish, something that would make you feel really good on the emotional front. You're really hoping for that. I think because you're healing from whatever happened in the past and your your hopes are in the right place. Hoping for the Nine of Cups is a, is a great hope. It's a great wish because that is the wish card. And the last card you have up, it looks like your hopes may come true <laughs> because here we go. We've got the Ace of Cups in the upright position for you, Virgo. Right at the very end of the month, this is the end of your read, end of the month, Ace of Cups is beautiful energy. This is a nice way to end the month of January for you. Uh, this is all about, um, Aces represent beginnings. This could be a new beginning of anything that would um, really jumpstart your emotions, make you feel really good on the emotional front. 
Now, the Ace of Cups can sometimes represent self-love. It could be that you've done enough healing, uh, Virgo, in the month of January, and now you've returned to your returned to self, and now you are fully in that mode of uh, you understand yourself, you love and appreciate yourself for who you are. For others of you, this could represent um, a very happy occasion, such as uh, maybe a new baby is coming, uh, maybe you're giving birth at the end of January, or others of you could be, this could be representing a new baby coming into the family, feeling that wonderful, beautiful, pure love of the new arrival. For others of you, this could definitely be representing um, a resurrection of love for your current relationship or maybe even a brand new relationship starting again. So, wow, what a great reading here, Virgo. Very progressive. That's why, you know, you may come into the month feeling pessimistic about things, but really try and keep your chin up because this is a very good reading. It ends on a beautiful note. And I'd love to see all this healing and this letting down of defenses for you guys. So that is your reading, Virgo. I hope this helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.